and back to Roots of Petra, it's Roselyn, and it's winter time! Winter Festival is here! The clan has left early for the festival. Talk to Jag to join the latest group or last group before sunset. It is now snowy and winter time, and I have so many things to show you since the last time that we were here in Roots of Patcha. We have a brand new crafting machine. It's called the Spindle Whirl, and Juk was able to create this with Garrick for us to be able to make yarn and some hay bales. So I've been working on that, as you can tell. But I also did a complete revamp of our little farm here. I moved our friends. You can see our stable is completely gone. And I have moved it to the southern farm and I have redone our entire farming location here to be able to make this a little more ergonomic, economic, efficient for me as a farmer. So I've added a couple of wells and we're doing three wide for our plots so that I can easily just do a whole row here. I've also been investing in powder meal, which you can make at your composter with shells, and that allows things to stay watered overnight. So that's why we've got items here that are still watered here this morning. So let's get all of this taken care of. There we go. Much easier to take care of the crops when we have them being essentially watered the next day for free. Let me show you what seeds I was able to find. If I go over here to inventory and then go to our seed bag, I have created a new wheel here for winter seeds only. So we have oats, lettuce, winter peas, beets, kohlrabi, and broccoli. I think that is really cool that winter is not considered like a season of just dying. It's, you can actually plant things. I, I love that when games still use winter as a productive season for, for planting and things like that. Another new thing that I can't remember if I showed you before, but this is our granary, which we are going to use to keep our hay bales in. Yay, that'll be helpful. And then down here we have our tree farm, right? So I've got some new beehives down here. The bees are happy. And I've planted lots and lots and lots of trees. So we are definitely capitalizing on, on the bees for sure and we are capitalizing on our tree production as well. Our friends have moved down here and they are happy as well. Remember, we have the breeding den here. We have our regular shed and Kroll has actually just finished upgrading this one right here to a medium size. So let's go ahead and fill in the food trough here. And this is really cool, really nice. So we can increase how many animals we have here in this big one now. That cost me 3000 contribution, a big ouch, but it was worth it. You have to have space to be able to put animals in the breeding den. And that's something that I am going to do, I think right now. You have to have six hearts with the animals. Let's see, female. Yeah, so our ostriches and our llamas are not enough but i think i'm gonna do let's do some ibex and encourage breeding oh they will have a baby ibex soon we love to see it we'll say hello to all of our friends we just shared our boar uh they also i learned this they also eat weeds so i have let them loose down here <laughs> so they will eat the weeds for me when you transfer into the winter season rocks and wood and things like that spawn on your farmland. So I have been, of course, cleaning that out and they come by and they eat the weeds for me and pop those out. So it makes it a little easier and somebody needs a shear. So we'll take care of that too. So instead of in the springtime, when you start a new year, like Surge Stardew Valley, it's in the winter time that you're seeing those uh, resources pop, pop back up. So I had trees, I had stumps, I had big boulders to remove. And of course you can see I've only done a little bit of it, but that's also up here in this farming plot too. It is not just this big one down here. So be aware of that. You'll have to do some cleanup come winter one. I love our little, look how cute it is. <laughs> I'm so excited. Other things, other things, other things that I've learned. A gift from the Mulgrani. This is something that we needed for one of the pyramids uh, prophecies. My people think this lentil pie is amazing. Hopefully you do too. So we got a recipe from, uh, oh, what was her name? Yeah, Vala. I was gonna say Vak, but that is not right. I knew it was a, a V though. This is part of 
the prophecy for this one, Fire in Their Hearts. They they explored the culinary arts with the Northern Clan that the Northern Clan shared with them. This is yet to happen. So it might be a couple of recipes that they share with us before it actually ticks over. We do have one rock piler to complete over there in the journal. And then for smoke signals, Era has a new idea. It's in a creative pickle and wants to experiment with new ways to process food. Okay. So we need to find her and she's of course not gonna be available today because she is at the festival. Not a problem, not a problem. Our animals are, are all good. I'm not worried about them. You don't have to do like any extra cleanup or anything like that or feed them. It doesn't seem like you have to put more uh, grass or hay or anything in the feed bin during winter. So I'm happy about that. So we can go over here to our big fire and talk to Jag. I think we are ready. Oh, look at the snow, little snow bears. They're so cute. Let's go ahead and head over to the festival. I feel like every time we have a new episode, there's a festival. We have until six to join the rest of the clan. Yes, look, yeah, 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 let's go. And then we'll get back on the grind as usual. It's time for some snowy fun. I wonder what this one's gonna be like. Will we have a snowball fight? Oh, the waterfall is frozen over. So this is up in the forest. We've got some Mulgrani. We've got some Yakuins dancing and music as usual. Would you like to hear the story of why we make bear offerings in the winter? Of course. Teeth with her story time. When the totems were still building the world, Bear was in charge of the weather. She worked day and night, making sure the jungles had enough rain and the deserts got the right amount of sun. Then every winter, she slept. When the world was complete and Patchens walked the land, there wasn't anything left for Bear to do. The weather still reflected her feelings. She could dance a windstorm to life or flood rivers with her tears without even realizing it. But the winter storms were the worst. Trees would topple, oceans would freeze. It was a dangerous time for the clans of the world. No one likes being awoken in the middle of their rest, especially when hungry. After a particularly terrible storm, a few Patchens thought of this and made an offering to her. And sure enough, it worked. So they did it every year from then on. Bear got the rest she needed and the ocean never froze through again. That's why we must continue the tradition. Ah, so this is a celebration for Bear. So we've had one for Rhino, we've had for one for Monkey, and now Bear is the one that we're celebrating today. That's so cool. Alec is a musician like me. Oh, budding romance. This cold stuff isn't so bad. Having so many beautiful people around makes it easier. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I see how it is. I'm gonna take my time and enjoy talking to everybody before we see if there's any events. I love listening to Mary talk about the stars. It would be so neat to read their history like her. Well, everybody's enjoying making snow bears and a snowball fight is on the way. Tare is here guarding the entrance. Are you ready for the ending game? The goal is to knock out the other team by hitting them with snowballs. Do you want Team Small Bear led by Ada or Big Bear by Jelrod? Oh, small, small. Should we start the game or maybe you'd like to practice? Oh yeah, we're gonna take our uh, opportunity to, oh, there's me, okay. Okay, I think I have to click and hold. Okay, she's like, she's ducking, I think. I can't tell if like, on who I'm hitting. Okay, gel rod, okay. The gel rod is sitting down, okay. So I guess I have to go for somebody who's, there, I got him. Okay, I gotta go for somebody who's sitting, standing up. I think it is a click hold and then throw. I wish there was a little bit of better indicator like hit or something on the screen. So I know if I, if I got, oh, we won. <laughs> so I know if we, uh, if we hit someone or not, okay. Uh, let's go. Let's give it a try. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'm going to keep my cursor over here. Do I have to aim? Oh, I have to. I was going to say, sometimes it doesn't let me. Oh, I got him. It doesn't let me want to choose somebody else to throw at. There we go. I've gotten three. Oh, that was a mess. Oh, can we get Enza? Yes, we got her. So do we, oh, okay, I see their white flags now. Oh. One more. One more. Yes, we got it. Oh, it's like, why are they sitting down? I get it. They have to surrender after they get so many hits. Congratulations, Team Small Bear. Now let's go back. It's freezing. Yeah, back back to a uh, 
fire, please. Hang out, eat some good food. A flurry of fun. Time to go back. Where are the champions? Did we get something fun? Let's see. We got three fruit crumbles. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so we have to talk to Era for a new idea, and we have a pyramid achievement to take a peek at in the morning. So many things have changed since the last time we were here in Roots Apache, and I'm so excited to continue to see these new ideas grow over time. And the festivals are just icing on the cake, for sure. I can't believe that we're almost to the end of our first year and have done so, so, so much. We've really got a nice thing going. I did learn, contributions-wise, you're trying to grind to get a lot of contributions up for upgrades and things like that. Fishing and then throwing those fish on the smoker is the way to go. You want to shoot for fish that have a three or four bars underneath of them and that'll help get you some more contributions so i'm sitting at 9 46 right now because i spent a whole bunch upgrading that shed but that's okay and we got our little bunny rabbit hello friend i do a little flip a heart to heart the very nice all right so we've got our crops going the animals are happy the bees are happy everything seems to be doing just fine in the winter time here. We got some stuff to water. We also have a brand new totem in the mine, the monkey totem, that we need to complete the challenge for. I totally forgot about that as well. So we have a lot to do. I might break that up into a separate video for you guys so we can take care of the pyramid and era and then hit the mines winter winter is a pretty good time for mining i would say but now that i've discovered that powder meal is a thing i don't i think you don't really have an excuse to 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 not go mining in every season if you know what i mean let's put our goodies away and we'll check on the animal bowls and then head out to find some folks to talk to Oh, I made a lentil pie and it says there's a pyramid achievement. What? Two? The clan is pro prospering. Garrick was a comfortable place to sit by to the river and study it. Oh, okay. They're making like a river overlook a uh, little, little spot there. That's nice. And then we've got two achievements now. Okay, can we find Era first though? Where are you, friend? She is right next door. Let's talk to her first, and then we can we can head over to the jungle. See what kind of idea she's got going on. Ooh, we've got an event. Hello and Ada. Oh, and Grandpa. Hello, I was supposed to do the sweeping. That's okay. I don't mind. Go rest, you rock. I'm almost done. Oh, no, I feel guilty. Hello, what are you doing? Sweeping. The herbs I gathered are drying in the kitchen. I already told you, Vada was going to get those. I was out, so I figured I might as well. You can't try to do everything. I'm not. You're going to burn yourself out, or worse, get injured. Poor friend. If you burn out your candle, you'll have no light for you or anyone else. I'm not teaching you any more healing until you learn to share the work. That's her heart. I feel like that was pretty harsh. It was just helping. It's so unfair. I'm just trying to help. Uh, don't listen to her. Thanks. I don't I know how much I can handle. I'll be fine. Besides, I'm sure she'll want my help later. It's good to be helpful. Know your limits, essentially. But I don't. I don't think that this person was like over over stretching themselves. You know, I haven't been feeling too creative in the kitchen lately. In cooking, you can combine two different flavors and get something that tastes completely new. I think we can do the same thing with the fermenter and the brewer. If we're able to combine those processes. I think we can find more ways to preserve food and make it tasty at the same time. I'll need some things to experiment with. Okay, an alcohol, three of those, a brewer, and a fermenter. 
Right, I will get to work on that tomato wine. Oh, okay, there's a bunch of wines that I have not tried to make. All right, I will have to look into that. And of course, the brewer and the fermenter, we can just make via crafting. So that's good. Off to the jungle we go. We need to go see what we are going to get for, for being uh, obedient to Pacha. I'm curious to see what gifts she gives us this time for completing the two prophecies. We're, we're finishing them up really, really quickly. Now that I've been, you know, putting a little bit of work in. All right. We have two. Okay, fire in their hearts. Yeah, okay, so uh, 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 explore the culinary arts in the Northern Clan shared with them. You have to cook the dish that they gift you. Uh -huh. And then rock filer. Okay, a sign. That makes total sense. So I was right. I just, I didn't have another step completed that needed to be done. Ooh, the bracelet, the ring of buzz, all right. Oh, something will happen soon. Okay, so maybe something here in, in the jungle is going to happen. Let's check our person here and the ring of buzz imbued with a power that increases the chance of yielding more honey. Ah, cool. I like it, I like it. Okay, so we cannot do our second pyramid thingamajig because I think it's going to give us an update here in the jungle. Something's going to happen like it did last time where we had that fire pit up here. So we've got to give it a little bit of time. Let's check in on our animals and see how everybody is doing. Hello, they will have a baby soon. Yay, babies. Check in on everybody else and make sure they're fine. Douse them with a uh, bucket of water, yes. There we go. So I think, now that I've seen this, you can see that there's a roll of hay in here. I think if I stock that granary, it fills this automatically. And that's why I haven't been needing to fill it up. That makes so much more sense. Okay, I will, I will make sure that that granary is full. That is so handy. I was hoping that there was something automatic like that that would make it easier. Have we been cleaning up the weeds down here? How are we doing? They have really been doing a lot of work down here for me, so I do not have to take care of any of these weeds. See, look, they do a munch of crunch, and then they give me the, the plant fiber back too. They don't even eat all of it, which is super, super nice. Is there anything else? The clan is prospering, yes. So we have one more prophecy to realize there that's completely ready, protected by the spirits. Uh, these are the totems in the mine. Okay, so we have two more, horse and monkey. We did owl and we, I did a room in the mine where it was like a bunch of footprints and hands painted on the wall. And I, I stuck my foot in some paint <laughs> and did that. We've got some more cooking stuff to do, a lot of cooking to do, some better tools to make and some more animal stuff for sure. I'm gonna take some time to continue to clean up this farm turn more of our grass fiber into hay for our animals and hopefully we'll see a baby apex soon that would be wonderful i also learned something else for cooking and that is that you can trade with grob and he is actually a hunter i had to look this up he is the hunter for the patch and community and he is the only way that you can get white and red meat needed or some recipes. So I will be making sure to gather some contributions so I can get some of these items from Grob in the future. So if you were stuck on that, I was too. And now we know what to do from here. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the notification bell, stay connected with me over on the community tab. I'd love to see you around for another video. You can check another one out right here on the screen. I'll see you for the next one. Bye.